Next up, let's take a look at the file section where you're going to have um, class materials. If it's a class file that you've set up, we'll talk a bit about that in a, in a second. Um, how to create a new file and the links that that has with OneDrive as well. So if I go over into my um, my little team here and already, as you can see, I'm in the, the file section. Now, the class materials tab, I have already um, kind of just briefly gone over that um, earlier. But this is the only um, group, the class group is the only group that you'll get which has the class materials um, folder in there. Um, what that means is that when you add anything into that folder, your students can't change it. All right. So if you um, have any students who sometimes do play around with the text that you upload or perhaps there's something that you, you most definitely do want, don't want anything being amended on. I would add it into the class materials all right and then you're going to get those options there so i'm just going to go back um a second let me just go to there we go um so in terms of um uploading your files etc class materials is the only one that will um where, where documents cannot be edited okay and your class group your class team is the only team that has that functionality every other team in the file section it is um it's open okay so anything that you add in there can be edited and edited and amended um but obviously we're talking about then working with colleagues etc so it is is very unlikely to be the case um now, what I quite like about um, the file section on Teams is that if you've got a student who um, doesn't have the functionality to use the Microsoft package at home, well, actually, yes, they can. Um, you have an option here to add um, Word documents, Excel, PowerPoints, etc. Um, so even if you were uploading something that you perhaps hadn't typed out yet, as an example, um, oh, that's because I've already got one in there, um, then you can just do it straight on the on the, the team itself you don't have to bother um opening up microsoft word separately saving it on your um either in OneDrive or saving it as part of your computer itself you can just add to whatever you want in your document straight away press close and that will be there for people to be able to see in terms of um uploading you can upload um, from your computer it will take you to your files which you then just choose and you can open any one let's go to that one and we'll add that in there okay um, if you do want anything added via OneDrive however it, it gets a little bit complicated and I'm not 100% sure why that is but you can't upload via OneDrive here what you have to do is you have to go into posts and as you can see i've just i've tried to run there actually you have to go into your posts and attach your file and that's then when you get the option to upload from OneDrive. so if i just go into that i've then got all my uh, all my different files in there um that i can add in i can upload a copy then and then it asks me which is it seems a bit bit strange at doing this um, and I don't have an explanation as to why you does it this way but then it gives me the option of where I want to put that um, within my file section so if I go in class materials and upload that then when I then go oh I need to save it when I then go into my file section it's there so for some reason we're not able to upload um, straight from OneDrive within the files section. So it's definitely worth knowing that. Uh, but like I say, I don't really have any any answers as to why that is. Um, so going back into our files, you um, can also copy a link and share it into a different um, a team. Um, so I would then copy that link, for example. Um, if I wanted to download any documents that I'd um, that had been uploaded there, perhaps I've created it as a new and I'd actually like a hard copy of that, then I can do that via the download button. I would just click whichever file I wanted and download it. Um, the SharePoint's quite an interesting one. What this opens up for me now is a, um, it takes me to the SharePoint for my team so that I can see my documents there. And actually what I can do is I can um, 
go into my documents on on all of my teams actually let me just see if it's going to let me let me do this so i just clicked the uh, the ncg and sharepoint thing at the uh, the top there and as you can see what this has then taken me to is all of my teams where i can access all of the documents um if i so wish um which are all available anyway within the within the teams themselves all right so that's how to um, upload files, whether it's from um, OneDrive, whether it's from your own computer, um, so that students can get into that. Um, just to briefly touch again on the class materials, the class group, um, class team, sorry, is the only one that you have this option. Um, all other team options, um, when you're setting up your group, don't have that there. But as I say, when you're working with colleagues and other professionals, it's unlikely that people are going to go in there and change things up.